Now here's a clip of part two of our Tempted series with Pastor Paul Earl. Elder Joel, the story, the record said, was one of those old saints. And it was in one of those Pentecostal churches. In those days, they used to call them holy rollers. Ever heard of that name before? A holy roller is someone who used to get so much in the spirit that they would hit the floor and roll. And their church would run down the building and they would scream. Right? And they used to be in their, in their buildings. They used to have these, these stained glass windows. Right? Because after a while, people started to throw things at them. But there is Elder Joe preaching. And there was a habit of some of the people in the neighborhood to run into the back of the church. How ridiculous this was. And they would throw a rotten fruit or an egg at these holy rollers because they weren't as sophisticated as other religious people in the town. And the story goes that Elder Joe was preaching, and in those days, the deacons would sit on the back, right? And they'd all line up. I don't know if you've ever seen those churches where the whole back row behind the preacher is just people sitting down in their suits. And there was Deacon Bob listening to Elder Joe preach. And as Elder Joe was preaching, Someone ran in through the back, <laughs> threw an egg, whap, hit Elder Joe in the square of his head, bam, and Elder Joe just did this, he flashed it, tilted his head back, and just started to praise, Woo! he got into the spirit, <laughs> I mean... I can't do it like he did it, but I'm telling you, he got in the spirit, right? And the story says, you know, Elder Joe went appraising. Hallelujah, hallelujah. He continues preaching. Guy runs into the back again, throws an egg. This time Elder Joe was like me, and he was moving to preach, and he moved that way. Egg misses Elder Joe, hits Deacon Bob. Deacon Bob checked B, and he went a-cussing. <laughs> what the hell, fellas? Wah, wah, wah. And these people can't stand it. You know what? <laughs> and Elder Judas tried to calm him down and went on a-preaching. So at the end of the service, everybody's you know, gathered around, and they're about to review the service and pray, and, and Deacon Bob says, Elder Joe, you know, my apologies for my behavior, but let me ask you this, sir. Why is it that when the egg hit you, you went appraising? But when the egg hit me, I went a-cussing. And Elder Joe, when he's not preaching, had a little stammer. And he said, well, Deacon Bob, when the egg hit me. I was a praising. But when the egg hit you, you went to cussing. Because you see, Deacon Bob, you had the c -c 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 cuss in you. And that egg just knocked the c -c 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 cuss out of you. <laughs> but I've got the praise in me. And when that egg hit me, it hit the praise out of me. Can I tell you, when you are tested, God allows you to see what's really on the inside of you. When that egg of life hits you square in the nose, what comes out of you? God is just trying to say, that's what's in you. And when you recognize what's in you, then you know what to do to fix it. So for the children of Israel, he caused them to hunger so that they can know what's inside of them if they're going to choose God's word over their needs. And in the, in the desert, they chose their needs over God's word. Because in the deepest parts of their soul, they did not believe God. The question is for you and me, brothers and sisters. The tempter will get you at a place where you don't really believe God. When it comes to your needs, whatever those needs are, the tempter 
would zone into the spot where you don't believe God. And you'll be tempted to fail. But God will test you so that you can win. Would you choose today to let God's word trump your needs? Thanks for viewing a clip of part two of our attempted series with Pastor Paul Earl. Life Church is a contemporary disciple making church that serves the Victor Valley communities. If you would like more information on how you can connect with us, visit our website at vvlifechurch.com. If you live in the high desert or will be visiting, join us this Sunday at 9 a.m. or 11 a.m. services. Mesa Linda Middle School, 13001 Mesa Linda Avenue.